A pleasant day, class! Welcome to Horticulture Module for Grade 10. This focuses on Quarter 2, Week 2, Discussion. So let's get started. We will discuss pre-planting operation for Week 2. Success always starts with a good foundation. A good harvest will not be possible for a farmer if preparations were not made prior to planting. Attaining desirable yields is always accompanied with proper management of pre-planting and post-planting activities. To ensure that you get the best from your crops, you must understand our discussion. Pre-planting operations are a series of activities carried out in a form of management system prior to planting the seeds or planting materials. It means these are operations you carry out before sowing the seeds. Pre-planting operations are very important. They are the foundation on which you build the success and survival of the crop. In this module, we will go to discuss six examples of pre-planting operations. First, seed procurement. You are expected to get your planting materials or seeds from a reputable agro-allied store. The word reputable is very important because when your seeds or planting materials are bad, automatically you are going to experience crop failure, also huge losses of investments because the pre-planting operations you had carried out are no longer useful. Second, land preparation. This is another important pre-planting operation in agriculture that most farmers get wrong from inception. Land preparation aims to provide a suitable environment from your seeds and crop. It ensures a sterile environment where crop pests and seed pathogens are eradicated. It also provides anchorage and support for your crop. Third, soil pH determination. I am sure you know that crops also select the type of plant they grow on. You will need to check the compatibility of your soil with the land you intend to use by running a soil pH test. A soil pH meter ranges from 1 to 14. Most crops thrive best in soil with pH reading within 5.5 to 6.5 soil pH. Fourth, seed treatment. Even after buying your seed from a reputable agro allied company, it is essential that you treat your seed or planting material. Seed treatment serves two purposes. It hastens germination and it protects the seeds or planting material from pests and disease. To hasten germination, the seeds can be bruised mechanically to aid water penetration. Hence, quick germination is achieved. Fifth, seed viability. It is very imperative that you test the viability of the seeds before planting to determine if the embryo of the seed is alive or dead. Although in most cases, the manufacturer of the seed would have indicated the viability percentage, you can also carry out a simple viability test using water. Just pour the seeds in water, leave for about 20 minutes, the floating ones are dead, while the ones below are the good for planting. Sixth, plant population determination. If you are planting, you should be able to predict your yield. It allows you to estimate your profit and assist in making farm management decisions. There is a formula to calculate the plant population. That is, plant population is equal to seed rate times land size divided by spacing. 
Why use correct spacing? First, it is economical. One good reason is that correct spacing normally uses less seeds. This can save you money. Second, improves plant health. If plants are too close, they are more susceptible to fungus and other diseases. If plants are too far away, weeds can thrive. For your planting guide, these are the plant spacing guide of various plants from A to Z. So now, after the discussion, your task is to answer the learning task 1 from page 18 of your self-learning module. And for the assimilation, learning task 2, explain why execution of pre-planting operation is necessary in horticulture production. Limit your answer in 10 sentences. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day! I hope you learned something from this video. For more videos and updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. God bless everyone!